This is the bunny ears plant and it's Monilaria moniliformis. It's a cute little succulent, it's all the rage in Japan. Don't get this one confused with the Puntia microdaces. This is a plant that will grow well in a container. You can grow it indoors as long as it gets really good light. And you can also grow it outdoors, especially in warmer climates. Let's get James Lucas from Succulents Australia to tell us a little more about this amazing little plant. One area you might notice is in a quite deep pot and they do really have quite long deep roots. So I would choose a pot like this. This is a beautiful Jamie Kim pot from Korea. Has a large hole in the bottom so you can actually dunk it into water and water from below if you want to. But it has good depth for these sort of roots. And that would allow the plant to mature well in there, but also dry out really well, which it does need to do in summer. Now, these are amazingly popular in Asia. They really love them because they're so cute as the little ones. But in a way, these are not quite so cute now because we've been growing them with more water and more fertilizer. And you can see the stems are a lot thicker, a lot heavier and they'll be coming up to flowering season a little bit later in the year. But these are still a first year seedling, but incredibly hard to get this seed. I was very lucky to get it. And these are last year's seedlings. And you can see a lot of them have developed into a two head or still often single heads. To grow these plants at home, you really need a well lit position, very well drained soil and they only really like water through the autumn, winter, spring period and the leaves do completely die off in summer. They go completely dormant because of the hot dryness because they're quite delicate. So they do dry out and drop off but autumn, first autumn rains sprout to life again. And in summer when the plant's dormant you're still left with these little cortex like stacks that stick up above the ground and they're a fascinating little feature. There's more information in the notes below the video. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on all aspects of gardening.